Hello, welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today I want to talk to something on on a real level, like a, like an honestly level. I'm not going out of my way to do to to like try to uh, stoke any flames or anything like that. Obviously, this channel, you know, I, I prefer Xbox and PC over over like PlayStation, you know. But I still love PlayStation. But I want to talk about this specific topic. Um, as you can see, like with the thing, the reason why I don't really prefer games like Stellar Blade anymore, like I want to get into that. I want to really unpack that and help you guys understand uh, where, where I stand on some of these things. So some of the topics are going to be, you know, just, just gameplay design, um, <clears throat> character design, obviously. That, that That's kind of a big one for me, at least with this game. And then just the overall perceived value that I feel like I that I get or don't get out of certain games and certain game genres or or types that I like to play. I want this to be a good video, and I don't want people to just think that like for some reason I'm coming at Stellar Blade like it's um, for for any stupid console war thing or anything. Like I played the demo. I played the demo for a little bit less than an hour, and the game just didn't click with me. I that it it just it, for me it wasn't it's not for me um <clears throat> and then yesterday you know with the starfield and you know the the stellar blade video like starfield i absolutely love that game i mean i and and as we get into this video you'll kind of maybe hopefully understand why a game like starfield is more important to me than a game like stellar blade so first of all let's talk about game design uh for for stellar blade so stellar blade is from what I can tell and what I played and what I gathered is a pretty much like a corridor game. Like it, it reminiscent from like the PS2 era. Now, now let me put this out there back in the PS2 era, games like that were freaking awesome. Like I love those. I mean, that was like the main type of game that I used to play before that on like Nintendo and, and, and other systems, 2d side scrollers were like the game that I love to play. Like I love those. And when they went 3d, you know, I was like, Oh my gosh, I like my, you, you know what I mean? Like every genre changes in every type of game, you know, you might be into it one generation and you just aren't into it the next generation. Um, <clears throat> first person shooters. I didn't start caring about first person shooters until the, we got into the, the, the mid cycle of PlayStation 4, Xbox one generation. And that's when I actually started playing them. Cause that's when they actually stopped making me sick. Um, and, and trust me, like first person shooters were not like anywhere near the top of my list. And now they are, you know, somewhere in the top three ish that, that I would like to play. Um, and more of be, and it's more of like an immersion thing now. So a game like stellar blade being a, a corridor type game where you, where you, uh, you, you know, the, you kind of mix in, you know, like the Devil May Cry slash the the um, um, the the Souls type gameplay. Um, for me, I just, you, you know, I mean, like when I was younger, it might have been just because of the fact that you know, like limited funds or something like that. I'd buy a game like that, and then you'd just kind of be stuck with it. So you'd play it a whole bunch, and then you would finally, you know, get your money out of it, and you go trade it in or something like that. But now it's like. I don't have, you know, that 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 issue of not being able to like buy specific games that, that I want to play. And, you know, as being a content creator, I can usually ask for, you know, most most keys. And, you know, sometimes I get them, sometimes I don't. But I, I don't really ask for a whole lot of keys anymore. Like I don't like normally when I get keys and now it's when they come to me and they're like, hey, you want to try this game? And I'm like, sure, I'll do that for you. But, you know, I like to buy my games. The perceived value that I get from a from a corridor type game now is is not as high. The the uh, the the reward value of playing that game and and beating my head against the wall or or you know trying to learn like the whole new combat system and and just getting into the rhythm of certain games. I don't. It it's for for some reason that 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 initial like difficulty in some of these games at first. Um, it, it's kind of more of a turnoff to me now than it is something that I'm like, yeah, I'm really invested in this. Now, <clears throat> the um, and 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 yeah, my 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 attention span for for sitting there and learning the nuances of the game and and trying to like tough it out and and get into that, it it just isn't for me. The reason why I was able to put over 80 hours into Elden Ring is because it was an open world game. 
and I was able to not sit there and beat my head against the wall. I could go do other things and work up the courage to go back there. And that's why I love the uh, the overall um, experience that Elden Ring brings to the, to the Souls genre. And that, to me, is fun and worth investing my time in. Something like Stellar Blade, it's it's not... It's not even it's not even in my like top five type of genre of game to play now. Um, after you know, and and I mean like think about think about the review I gave for God of War Ragnarok because that's pretty much that type of game. And and I'm just like man, I just don't I, I'm not feeling it anymore. You know, I I I you know, or or Evil West even I I couldn't even beat Evil West because I just beat God of War Ragnarok. And right before that, I just or <clears throat> somewhere in between there, I just beat you know. Um, uh, Callisto Protocol, Callisto Protocol, Resident Evil type games. Those are a little bit different because of like the horror aspect and the horror factor of them. You know, they're a lot easier for me to stay engaged in that type of a game. Um, still, they, they they are still up there pretty much, and and they don't come out as often. I mean, we did have you know back to back to back Callisto, Callisto Protocol, uh, Dead Space, and then Resident Evil Four. So I mean, it was like, oh boy, that, and that was fun. Like I was fine. I was able to get through all those. I did kind of you know I did kind of like struggle a little bit with uh, with Dead Space at first, but then I ended up getting that getting through that, overcoming that, and and being okay. But a game like Stellar Blade for me, um. It, and, and I said this, you know, in, in my first, in, in like the first video I made is like, gosh, dang guys, I'm just not feeling this as a $70 game. Um, because I know that I'm going to buy that and I'm not going to beat it. I'm, I'm probably not going to beat it because there's other extenuating factors that, that are going to make that. So I don't end up investing as much time in there. So after now, now that you guys kind of understand that and, and you can kind of see where I'm coming, you know, from the whole, just, just the design aspect of, of the game. I mean, it's, 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 it's there. I still do enjoy playing those type of games, but they are not anywhere close to like my sought after genre anymore that they're, they're just not, they, they were amazing in PlayStation two generation, early PlayStation three generation. And, and now it's just like, I'm not really as into that type of experience as I used to be, because now I have big open world games that have a lot more type of content that I like to do. I like the exploring. I like, you know, going and doing things. I, I like doing some, you know, some of the side quests and doing, I, I like those games. Like I'm, I'm, I'm like super into like Ubisoft open world type games now. So <laughs> that's why a game like Forspoken can blow my socks off. But a game like Stellar Blade is like, well, I'm not really that interested in it. So now I want to talk about the character aspect of this game and because this is a big one this is actually like a major deciding factor because if this was a devil may cry <laughs> with dante and, and and you know like like playing like a devil may cry type of game it wouldn't have it, <clears throat> I, I i probably still would have bought it um but <clears throat> let's talk about eve okay so as you play a video game you tend to develop feelings for the protagonist that you that you control that you play you 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 tend to care about their story you you tend to care about them as as a character and that right there my friends to me um just because of how she's designed as like you know i, I don't want to say objectified because it kind of does feel that way a little bit you know i mean like 2b was the same way but 2b was completely different you know i mean it was I, I was a little bit younger then and now it's like let me explain this okay let me break this down i'm a happily married man okay and the only way you're ever gonna find a way to be a happily married man is to completely and 100 percent ignore and get rid of any type of emotional attachment that you may or you, that you may have or may create with another person that that is not your wife and 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 you you might think this is crazy you might think this doesn't doesn't sound right but trust and believe man like when i was younger i didn't have a problem finding like girlfriends like i i, I was a good looking dude i was tall slim had it had it had a good face nice jawline i looked good like i was able to pull girls and and i was outgoing like i was you know, I was like, hey, baby, what's up? You know, I was that kind of dude. I was like, yeah, what's up? You know, I, if, if, if I went and talked to a girl and she said no, I would go talk to her fat friend. Like, I didn't care. You know what I mean? Like, it was it was bad. Like, it was bad. Like, I, I, 
I've got a lot of kids with a lot of different baby mamas and stuff. So, so that aspect of, you know, and, and the reason I bring that up is just so that you guys can kind of grasp the, the situation is because up till this wife now, I had always kind of let myself fall into like the trap of like, you know, looking at other women or, you know, being friendly with other women or talking to them or, or buying games with vulgar, you know, like, like female characters and stuff like that. And, and, and being like, like engrossing myself in that and like bringing that type of mindset into my mind, you know, like, you know, not, not necessarily, not necessarily like having like a standard and, and that's all part of like being a man. And like, you know, if you want something and you love something and you care about that, you will take care of that. And so having that weaker mindset as I was growing up and, and being younger and stuff like that, that, that put me in a lot of situations to where I, I never truly went out of my way to fully love the person that I was with and completely dedicate and, you know, give my everything to them like I do now. So having, having a, having a, a highly sexualized character like Eve in front of my screen for, for lots of hours, you know, and, and listening to the little whimpers and, and, and like seeing the, like the moves and stuff she does that to me, it, it's, 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 it's actually pretty gross now. Like I, I'm, I'm just like, gosh, this is, this is kind of disgusting at this point. You know, it's like, I, I get like, there's people out there that want that and, and buy it and handle that stuff. Spend all your money on it. Buy two copies. I don't care. I, I'm not going to judge you for playing that. Like to, to me, I mean, like five years, well, 13 years ago before I met my wife, definitely, I would have been right there with you guys. Um, so, so nowadays I do tend to try to, if, if, if there's a woman protagonist in the game, I do try to find the ones that are at least modest, you know, like Aloy. Aloy to me is like, you know, Aloy compared to Eve. Aloy is more like, okay, yeah, this is a character. This is a video game character. And so this kind of does lead into the whole sweet baby ink thing for me in a way to where, to where it's like, like, I get it, please. You know, I don't, I, I'm, I'm okay with them creating female characters in a way that doesn't over sexualize them um i mean like when you look at mary jane and spider-man that's a little bit out of hand like she dresses nice and and that's cool like dress her nice but then still give her a pretty face you know what i mean like that that there i don't think is too much because like we see people like that all the time you know and and, and in my mind like a, like a sub character i i don't mind or pay that much attention to like the sub characters that much uh, usually when you're playing a game, you're creating that, that, that relationship with the protagonist, with the person that you're controlling. And so, and so having, you know, having like Peter Parker and then like Mary Jane, you know, not, not being like all that great looking or whatever. It's like, it, it, it is what it is, but you know, like take Laura Croft, the, the new Laura Croft. I absolutely love the new Laura Croft from, from, from the last trilogy she she to to me that was like okay yeah i like this i i like this you know i mean she's still cute she's still sexy but she's not like giant boobs and freaking little skimpy shorts and 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 to me like i like the i like the new direction that that's going guys like I, i'm gonna stand up for that part of it you know i i don't necessarily think that every female protagonist needs to be like overly sexualized and 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 put out there for 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 us to enjoy but at the same time, I do know that there's people out there that want to own that, that want to buy that, that want to play that. And I don't judge you. And I mean, take Black Desert um, Online, for instance, okay? Black Desert Online, uh, you can do female character, <clears throat> you can do a male character. And there are some very revealing outfits that you can build your avatar with in that game. And and that's fine, you know? Like, I'm, I'm okay with that because I can also... And this is why I always pick, like if I have a choice between a male character and a female character, I always pick a male character because I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fantasize about a dude. You, you know what I mean? Like I'm going to play the game and be immersed in the story. I'm not going to ever have my mind wandering to that avatar be, because I mean, even though it's a pixels, even though it's pixels, it still insinuates and, and every man knows this. If you're a man and, and you have a freaking a weenie, like you're going to know that like, yeah, dude. Just the sight of, of Eve, I don't like the way, I don't like the thoughts that go through my head when I see, like, certain poses with Eve. And and it's not because I'm, it's because I love and I, and I, and I cherish my wife above all. 
I, I love and I cherish my wife and I and I really respect the fact that you know if you if you let other women or other things into your head, other thoughts, then that takes away from everything that you could be giving to that person that you love, that's your partner, that's right there with you. And and I do, man, I stand firm on that. And it's 99% because of the lifestyle that I led up to meeting my wife. Um, and, and, and like you just have to know, like you just have to see what I've been through and, and, and the stuff that I've done in my life to, to understand why... Why I do, why I make that firm and why I stand on that is like, yeah, dude, this is my wife. I love and respect my wife. So I'm not going to let that kind of stuff into my head because I don't need it poisoning what what's going on in my relationship. I, I don't need that poison. I, I, I need to be able to look at my wife and, and love her and, and, and be there for her and give her all of that. Any type of those feelings I want directed toward my wife and one day when you find that person that you love and, and that you respect enough you'll you'll like everything that I'm saying right now is going to hit you like a ton of bricks if your mind is distracted from the person you love then you you might not treat them right you might not be good to them you might not you know put their needs or anything like that that, that might come second to you because you are distracted so I try to remove the distractions at least what I can control completely out of my way. Like, I don't even talk to other women. Like, I don't. If, if I have to talk to them, it's like, yes, no. I, like, I really try to keep the conversations that I have to the bare, to the bare minimum, period. Like, I, 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 it's better that way. It's better. I don't want to know about their day. I don't want to know about their feelings. I don't want to. I, I don't care. I don't, I don't want to know. Like, I don't want to be in a position to where I could begin to feel any type of feeling that, sh that should be directed toward my wife toward any other woman on the planet my mom is dead so we're good to go well and, and my daughters obviously i mean my daughters you know <laughs> i would never feel that way about my daughters like i did my wife so i mean i think i'm good there so yeah the only other you, you know what i mean so but now i want to talk about like the perceived value of a game like stellar blade for somebody like me that has drastically changed my gaming habits over the years you know obviously going from 2d side scrolling to corridor games over to open world games that that is like where i try to keep my action genre now so the perceived value of a game like Stellar Blade to me, it does not warrant $70. And to tell you the truth, guys, there's there's like a very slim chance that I will ever buy that game. I after the the second section of what I just told you about it, like there's uh, I mean, maybe if I wasn't married anymore, maybe I'd buy it, but other than that, like I have no desire to play that game. And the way that the game fell and, you know, the way that the game felt to me while I played it and then, you know, just just the, just the overall everything. So, yeah, like the perceived value for me for $70 is just not there. And and I know that I will not play that game enough to to recoup that $70 out of it. And I'm not going to sit here and beat and bash on the game to get clicks. I'm this is this is my honest opinion about it and so that you guys can take this and do whatever you want with it. And, and and like move forward but yeah stellar blade is not a game that i am interested in in any way shape or form at this point and it does not carry the perceived value to me so i'm not going to make any more content on it i'm not going to i'm not going to sit and do like console war stuff for it that, that's how i feel about it so um yeah <laughs> if you guys like this content don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching